Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to topic 3.1.8, Inorganic Ions from the AQA A-Level Biology Specification. As always, let's start with a look at our specification. We should know that inorganic ions occur in solution in the cytoplasm and body fluids of organisms, some in high concentrations and others in very low concentrations. We should know that each type of ion has a specific role depending on its properties. The specification specifically mentions the role of the following ions. The role of hydrogen ions in determining pH, the role of iron ions as a component of haemoglobin, sodium ions in the co-transport of glucose and amino acids, and phosphate ions as components of DNA and ATP. So let's make a start. First of all, what does inorganic mean? Inorganic means that it does not contain carbon. Note that inorganic ions occur in solution in the cytoplasm and body fluids. Let's have a look at some inorganic ions and their roles in the body. First of all, we have hydrogen ions, also known as protons. The concentration of hydrogen ions determines pH. The higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the more acidic the environment, and pH is important because it affects enzyme-controlled reactions. To recap the effect of pH on enzymes, just follow the link to my video on enzymes top right. Next we have iron ions, specifically those in Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus forms. Hemoglobin in red blood cells contains Fe2 plus at its centre, which binds to oxygen to temporarily become Fe3 plus. This is important in transporting oxygen around the body in the bloodstream. Then we also have sodium ions. These are involved in co-transport across cell membranes, for example in a sodium glucose co-transporter protein as well as active transport as in a sodium potassium pump. Sodium ions are also needed for nerve impulse transmission. More detail on these processes can be found in my videos on digestion and absorption as well as nerve impulses. Finally, we have phosphate ions. There are many uses for phosphate ions, for example the bonds between phosphate groups store energy in ATP. Phosphate groups also allow DNA and RNA nucleotides to join to form polynucleotides. Phosphate ions are needed for the hydrophilic phosphate head of phospholipids. Great, that would be our specification covered. We know that inorganic ions occur in solution in the cytoplasm and body fluids of organisms, some in high concentrations and others in very low concentrations. We know that each type of ion has a specific role depending on its properties. Specifically, we have covered the roles of hydrogen ions, iron ions, as well as sodium and phosphate ions. That would be it for now guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe, comment, next time we will be covering the structure of eukaryotic cells.